don't know whether this will show up on the video. I pretty much finished the drawing. Got all the basic elements on in it. Uh, using the perspective. Something that's important on street scenes. Right, you'd have your vanishing points in that picture there. Because in that point there around those where vanishing points is because a study you're taking the photo you can see that's where everything will head into what you do to get your perspective on it so work out your vanishing point and then say you were in the middle of the road looking straight up the road it'd be like a triangle going up the long thin triangle to make the road but since I'm stood up to one side the vanishing points there that bit's heading towards the triangle shape but the road there has a much steeper thing to it and then the roofs because you lower down come in from that way downwards same on that side but you're quite a bit away so it's not as steep but it's still heading in to the same vanishing point at an angle like stuff you straight on to is not that important it's if it's roads etc <coughs> uh, worked out how the bridge were off all the rest surrounding it the heights and the embankments uh, looked at some online photos I can't see it proper but they're the only photos I have. So, from what I can deduce, the bridge would just be iron railings and uh, iron span. Oh, excuse me. I know there were iron railings down there because it were playing fields and every year they used to have a summer fur on here. One sat, one sat there every year. They had a summer fair that works in the grounds. And it was football pitches for football teams, etc. All that's now an housing estate. They sold it for building housing. Uh, this here was an engineering company. Where it's railings now, it used to be the wire mesh fencing. Uh, that's engineering company still, obviously. And... I've took the modern cars out, etc. over here. Uh, as we can see, <coughs> excuse me, started applying some of the paint. Now the canvas, when I painted over it, worked. That seems to have worked. Now, the sky, I'll probably put clouds on this after and there's detail to go on the railway embankment down here. But it's done by mixing white with French ultramarine blue. Very light at first and then you work your way up getting darker and darker till you get to the top of the sky. Same with greys and that except I made a very overcast one, the last one I did the lightning it weren't necessarily a brilliant sky I should have really made it lighter as I got to the bottom uh, started painting the road surface it'll probably end up being a bit darker to the front here as that bring it back to them tones because it's a bit light at the front things are normally one lighter as they get towards the horizon darker at the front I'll probably take it down a couple of shades so it mixes in but I don't want to get it too dark because I use dark grey there for the shadowings because it's meant to be about midday and summer like the golden rule is never use black in a painting black looks overbearing yeah. see they're always going to be shades of dark grey Sometimes you'll mix blue in with it. Sometimes browns for a warmer tone. 
blues you do for Kugel at home is the shadows. So nothing really when you're painting is ever a true black, it's only ever a very dark grey, a grey brown, a very dark grey blue. Like there's no true blacks because they don't look very overbearing in the painting. Also what I didn't mention is a technique I use whereby still a bit dusty, still a bit of paint left in it, doesn't matter. But what I do, load it with paint and so it gives it's for beaches, tarmac, anywhere you need a speckled finish, just load it with your required colour, then flick the paint on across so it gives these like speckles like there's loose chippings on the road surface I'm not content to be with you in the daytime girl I want to be with you all of the time